everyone. So today I have a haul for you. I went to like four or five places, so I thought why not just show you what I got. Most places I only got like one or two things, but I thought you guys might still want to see it. The first place I went to is probably really random for you guys, but I went to Big Lots, and uh, I like it because sometimes you can find some really cool cosmetics there. So the first thing that I actually found was just this bronzer. I got it for like $2. I mean, it comes off like that. Ah, oh, like that. And it really isn't very dark. So I don't really know if I'm going to like it. We'll see. I haven't actually tried it yet. And then the other thing I got is something that I go back and buy every time. I got these facial wipes. It comes with like $60 for, 20, for, for $2. And I like them so much. They like I've used makeup remover wipes and I don't like them as much as this. Or this, it takes off all the makeup. But it works really, really well. And it's really, like, gentle. And then they have different ones. They have, like, this one's green tea. And they have cucumber and lemon, I think. But they always have it. They also have a pack of, like, 30 for a dollar, I think. So you can always try that. But I actually really, really recommend these. This is probably my third pack of these that I've bought. The next place I went to was Target. And I, actually, I only got two things, and they were both nail polishes. But I thought I'd show you. So the first one I got is this Revlon L polish and it's in sequin. It's one of their like new fall collections and it was on sale for like $3.49 instead of like $4.50. I don't know. It was like a dollar off. So I thought why not get it. The other thing I got, it's like, okay, I got this little French manicure Revlon thing where it's, you get two colors and usually they're $7.95. I think I got them for like $3.50. And uh... I'll show you the color I really hate. I think, like, the combos they had were really weird. Like, I don't know, like, nothing that p people would really put together ever, hopefully. Um, but this first color, it's called Over the Moon, and I think it's just a hideous color. It's, like, baby pink and sparkly, and it's, like, everything I don't like. So that one I will not use. I tried to put that on top of, like, a nude pink, and it just... I felt like a five-year-old. And then the other one, the reason I bought it was because of this color. I don't know the color on it, but it's really, really pretty. And I really like it. I painted my nails that color as soon as I got home. So that's one that I really like and I'll, pro I'll use a lot. Pink one, not so much. I don't. I'll probably never use it. But to me, for $3, it's kind of worth it. Because, I mean, it's kind of a smaller tube, but I've been looking for a color like that. And usually I find them for like $10 and... I mean, I don't, I'm not going to use this nail polish enough where I need the whole bottle, so I thought $3 was kind of worth it. The next place I went to is my favorite store, and I went to TJ Maxx, and I was actually thoroughly disappointed for one of the few times I am. Uh, I didn't find any clothes that I liked, or none that I liked enough, but I did get three things. The first thing is really random, and you guys probably don't really care to see this, but I thought it was really cool, so I'm going to show you. I got this photo frame, or photo frame, photo album. I got this photo album, but look, it's like really thin. And the way it works, it's like you flip through all the pictures. This set I haven't really put any on. I know, I feel like I have a bunch of pictures laying around and I just couldn't find them. So I filled up one side and then I put like senior pictures from like three years ago in there. But it was only like $3 and I was look, thinking about getting a photo frame and I like this one just because it's so small and doesn't take up a lot of room. And to me, I like things that don't take up a lot of room. The next thing I got was two more nail polishes, and I don't know why I've been on such a nail polish, like, craze, craze, crave, party, I don't know, nail polish brigade lately, and uh, I got two colors. Uh, the first one is the one that I'm wearing. They're both OPI, and they cost $3.99. This one is, it's called Skull and Gloss Bones, and I actually have that on my fingers. I think it's such a pretty color. It's like a very, very light gray color. And to me, that's a color that I enjoy. The next one I got is kind of like the Revlon blue one I got, but it's more of a purple. It's by OPI, and it's called Not Like the Movies, I believe. Yes, Not Like the Movies. And it's really cool. Like, sometimes it looks purple, and sometimes it's green, silverish. I don't know. It's not really coming up on here very well. The only thing I don't like about this is it's really thin for an OPI nail polish. Like, usually the formula is pretty thick, but this one was really, really thin. Like, when you bring it, let's see. I don't know if it'll show up on camera. It's just like super drippy. As opposed to like thick. I don't know. So that I didn't like. And I put on two layers and it's still kind of sheerish. But I still, I, it was still pretty cool. The next store I went to uh, was Charlotte Russe. And it's definitely like coming into a tie with me loving TJ Maxx. It's probably getting there. Uh, I generally like... 
I'll see a lot of cute things I like, but then when I get up to them and try them on, I'm like, hmm, yeah. So I actually don't buy a lot from there, but I just love everything there, if that makes any sense. I don't know, does it make sense to you? Okay. So, okay, so as all of you know, they have like the two for ten dollars for jewelry, so I got four things. One of them I'm a little contemplative on. I might not keep. I don't know, but let me show you. First, I'll show you the one I'm thinking about not keeping. It's this necklace, and it has like this sparkly bow tie thing. And like, I was like, oh, how cute, but then when I got home, I was thinking about it, and I was like, that's not really my style. So I don't know if I'll get any wear out of it. And I was like, well, what would I wear it with? I was like, I guess a white top, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, I don't know. So I might take it back. I probably won't. I'm horrible when I'm like, I'm going to return this. And I never do. The next thing I got was a ring. And I think it's so pretty. It's like this little flowery blush ring with this little jewelry stuff on the top. And it's gold. So this is my first gold ring, I believe. So I thought it would go with a lot of things. Next, I'm going to show you these two, the two pieces of jewelry that even made me look at the jewelry department in the first place. Because usually when I get in there, I get sucked in. The first thing I got is this bracelet. It's like this, and it has the two chains on it. Um, it's kind of cool because it has a little lasp. But I, I don't know. I, it kind of looks like Gigolosophy bracelets, and I really want one of those. But they're like 20 bucks, and then they're shipping and handling. So I'm kind of like, I don't know. Um, but I'll link them down below. They're actually on Etsy, and their bracelets are really, really pretty. I'm just really, really cheap. So, here we go. It looks like that, and then it has, like, the two chains. And one's, like, a little smaller, and one's a lot bigger. Uh, I thought it would go well with all the rest of my gold. And then it would also go well with the earrings that I found that I think are so cool. It's these little black earrings with these spikes on them. I was like, those look so badass. They really, like, play up something, like, more pretty. Or when I, I don't know, when I go out, I can wear them. And maybe people will be like, that girl's so scary let's leave her alone but it might work it might ward off some people the next two things i got are like the only like clothing items well the first one's not it's a scarf and it's one of those little infinity scarves but it's really pretty it's like a knit and it's blush and it's like whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. and it's pretty long so when i put it on i was wearing it yesterday and it's just really warm and then if it gets too warm you just take one off and you're set to go Got other colors like white and maybe blue. So if you liked other colors, you can go and get those. I think it was like twelve ninety five. And then the next clothing item I got was a dress, and I've been looking for one like this. So I was super excited when I found it. It's this blue dress, and I don't know if you can see it. it has this like super low cut lace thing. It is really long. I mean, not really long. It goes like right above my knees. But to me, that's super long. I don't wear dresses that long generally. But I felt like since it was doing that, it's okay to wear a long dress. And then the back also has this really cool lace on the back. My boyfriend's out of town, so I was thinking maybe I can wear it when we go on a date. It would also be a perfect uh, New Year's dress. And then I have one more thing I want to show you. And to be honest, I was really contemplating showing you guys. Just because, like, it is an expensive piece. And I, didn't, I don't want to seem braggy like, oh, look what I got. So I was really contemplating it for a while. Well, by a while, I mean 24 hours, but 24 hours is a long time to contemplate something, sort of. Something that's really not that big of a deal it is a long time, too. So, I thought I would just show you anyways. For, um, for Christmas, my grandma, she gave me a coach purse, and then she asked to borrow it, and then she's like, oh, I really like it, I'm not giving it back to you. So I was like, I don't really care, like, it's not that big of a deal. So I just let her keep it, and um, she's like, well, I'll just get you a new one. I was like, no, you don't have to. So then she's like, she, I mean, you can't really argue with my grandma. It's pretty much impossible. So she's like, well, I got this person Vel, so I guess we'll just go up to Vel and look. And I was like, no. <laughs> I'm like, no. There's an outlet store at Castle Rock, so let's just go there. So we went, and I looked around. We probably looked around for about an hour, and, like, the store is not that big, but I feel like when you're making a big decision like that, it is. So I found this one person, and I was like, or everything there was 30% off. I found this one person, it was like $90, and that was like the cheapest I can find, and I was like, how about this? And she goes, that's like the size of your wallet. Or, well, she doesn't talk like that. She was like, that's like the size of your wallet. And I was like, yeah, I love things that size. And she goes, don't lie to me. Okay, see, that's more her voice. Sort of. I don't know. That's my mimicking her voice. She's like, don't lie to me. And I'm like, okay, okay. So I looked around for a while, and I probably looked at five different styles, and I had it narrowed down, and then, like, I'm more, I like, like, more slouchy bags. 
so I was mostly looking at like the sla like more slashy bags or not as like put together bags. I mean, I don't know. They're all put together. But like ones that have like pleating and everything in it. But then I saw this bag and it's usually, it's not one that I usually like at all. Like I don't like structured bags too much, but I saw it and I like, it's like I saw myself in the future. I was like, well, when I'm going to job interviews, I want to look more like structured and more put together. So I got a more structured bag. And I actually got a leather one, so I guess I'll show it to you guys now. This is the bag I got, and I just think, like, see, it's not, I feel like it's not too raggy, it just has a little thing, and it's really cool. It has this little, like, zipper to, like, expand the area, which is pretty much exactly where my cell phone's gonna go. And I thought the inside was kind of cool, it was a little different, where it's like this, and the zipper. You actually have to use two hands when you use it. Okay, see, I gotta use two hands. Cause it's like an actual zipper but that's what it looks like on the inside it's just black and it has a little whatever that thing is but yeah that's the bag that I chose and then well I guess it has a little pocket here too so I was thinking that this bag was like kind of perfect and I felt like I made an adult decision because I found some other really really cute bags but I was like nope adult decision but yeah if you're looking for a coach bag I would definitely recommend going to an outlet store because this one I got for like well over half off. Uh, and like I said before, I'm really like a deal searcher or bargain searcher. So I thought it was a pretty good deal. So I'm really excited to use the bag. I'm a little sad because it doesn't have a crossbody, but like I was saying, I'm trying to make the adult decision there. That's everything that I got for my haul this time. Um, it, it was a lot of stuff, but I feel like it wasn't because it was mostly products. But I feel I hope that you guys still enjoyed it anyways. Until next time, I'll talk to you guys all very soon. Bye!